I've said it before, I'll say it again, this channel has the very best contributors on YouTube, bar none. Would like to acknowledge USN for America has been with us from the beginning. This particular comment, I think, encompasses everything the channel has been trying to say. The most important thing here, I think, is this one sentence. To say they couldn't get a track on a nearby metal object larger than two football fields that is two or three nautical miles away is absolutely ludicrous. And that covers it. The thing's ten stories tall. It's three miles away. The AIS satellites, the GPS satellites, are 12,000 miles above it. They had a track on what it was, where it was, how fast it was going, and its direction of travel from 12,000 miles away. But our $2 billion warship, three nautical miles away, couldn't. I think that is exactly what this comes down to, the absolute, um, and he uses the right word, ludicrous idea that this was an accident. And actually, in the report, the word accident is never used. They talk about collision and incident, and I've mentioned that before, but they never say accident. Um, mishap, I think they used also in the report, but I can't find the word accident. Maybe I missed it, but um, this is uh, exactly what I would expect from the folks that have come here from the Navy that, that know logic when they see it. You know, you can say that the, the crew maybe d didn't do this or didn't do that, but this entire event happens within a period of about 30 minutes from the problems that they had with the radar to the time that this happens is, is very close. Another question I have, and this just goes to the judgment of the captain, and I don't want to Monday morning quarterback him too much. He'd only been aboard that ship for about a month. If he, They say that he left the bridge at 11, and this happened at 1.30. He knew the track of his ship was going to go through the, the separation scheme, through one of the busiest channels, and he had standing orders that if his ship comes within three nautical miles that he needs to be notified. Well, he knew his ship was going to be sailing through there and more than likely going to be coming within three nautical miles of a lot of contacts. Why go to bed? Why, why not just grab a cup of coffee, stay on the bridge for another couple, two and a half hours, and and save them having to do all of that reporting because you can see in the report they have to go through and every time they come within three nautical miles of something, they have to report to him. They don't. You know, Maybe he said, okay, these are my orders. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Don't wake me up. But they had all just gotten off liberty. I, and, you know, they had done some small boat operations and they had done some helicopter operations that evening before. But there's no way to say that, these, that the uh, command allowed this crew to get fatigued. They, they were all, had just come off liberty at 0600 the day before and had one day of operations and pretty much everybody was in bed. That's ridiculous. So, anyway, um... Something I wanted to show you guys um, about the abilities of a destroyer. I linked this in my last video, but I just want to show this real quick. This is, we're at the 35 second mark of this video, and I'm going to play this forward at regular speed and show you how fast an Arleigh Burke class destroyer can, can spin. Here we go. Okay, so there's the turn. We're counting forward here. There's five seconds. 10 seconds. 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Actually, excuse me, 30 seconds. 35 seconds. All right, I let that go from basically the 35 second mark of the video to the 123 mark of the video. So that is 48 seconds. This thing pulls a 180 degree turn within its own ship length, which is 600 feet. 600 feet, let's see, divide by three, 200 yards. So, what is that? Not even an eighth of a mile. So even if they were a half a mile away from that collision location, they could have done a full 180 degree turn 
in that amount of time. And remember, they said they were at, you know, full speed, hard left. That's what they said. That they were attempting to make a hard turn to, to port. Just like this thing did. So I... Another reason this story stinks. You know, and this isn't assumption I'm making here. This isn't I'm saying, well, this ship could have done this, could have done that. Here's a video of the ship actually doing it. Exact same ship. And we watched how fast it could do it. And that was at, that wasn't at accelerated time. That's why I left the music up, so you could hear that it wasn't sped up. So and in case anybody, I pulled this up too. That's how high up GPS satellites are. And I also, you know, I have the report here, and you can see this. It says, Bozen made of the watch, executed at the order at 129. And if he executed at 129, within 60 seconds, that order to, let's see, what is it? Full speed, rapid turn to the to port, just like we watched. Ordered that at 0127, executed at 129. By 1130 hours, it should have been facing the other way, within an eighth of a mile. Within, well, 600, let's say 1,000 feet. Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they did it within two ship lengths. And we'll call it 1,200 feet. 1,200 feet, let's see, divide by three. That's, what, 400 yards? That's a quarter mile. A quarter of a mile they could have done this in. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that unless this somebody was trying to hit this vessel that it got hit by accident. And this other thing, too, I don't know. They, they talk in here about, they're saying that they're making all of these assumptions that, um, and see if I can find it here to get the right, that they're not uh, saying that the inaction, yeah, here it is. I'll get this right. This assessment of the USS Fitzgerald is not intended to imply that crystal mistakes and deficiencies were not also factors in the collision. I don't think they made mistakes. I think they executed their mission flawlessly. And I should have brought up, and I didn't do it in this video, to show how fast this giant lumbering cargo vessel can do a 180 degree turn. Because we watched this thing smack into a destroyer and then almost immediately go back to 14 knots and then do a full 100. This thing was back on site after going down range 30 minutes. In 50 minutes, I mean, there's no way. There's, I, I, it, that that cargo vessel was able to do what they what the GPS is saying it did. It it just doesn't it just doesn't. And I know I'm going over a lot of old information, and I apologize for that. I just wanted to basically make this video about physically showing what an Arleigh Burke class destroyer can do. You know, with a full speed, rapid turn to port. We have a video of of a ship doing that exact thing, and how long it takes, and the distance it takes to do it. You know, we, uh, I, I live, I'm blessed to live here in northern Florida, and on occasion I have uh, the ability to drive over this very, very large bridge in Jacksonville called the Dames Point Bridge. It goes over the St. Johns River where it goes out to the sea, and out there there's a huge port. And there's ships like this out there all the time. And you watch these things come in and out, and they move at the speed of smell. I mean, it takes forever for these things to get up to speed and to make and most of this is done by computer it's uh it's just quizzical why the captain of that ship mr advincula given the what the navy was even saying about the rules of the road and that it was fitzgerald's obligation to maneuver around them why would he lie then why would he lie about trying to have gotten these guy, people on the radio? Why would he lie about having flashed his lights and done all this kind of thing? He would have had absolutely no reason to lie. He could have said, yep, that's what the Navy is saying happened, happened, and it's not my fault. But clearly we can show that there's a giant gulf in between the story the Navy is putting out and what he said right after this happened. So... Anyway, we're going to make this a quick one today uh, so you guys can enjoy your Sunday. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much once again. USN for America, Johnny C. Drums, um, Don McCaddy. I know I'm leaving out a lot of folks. Brenda Prophet comes here a lot. Um, my contributors, very, very best on YouTube. Thank you so much. See you next time. Like, share, subscribe.